Hello and welcome to Logic ERP. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with the latest videos. This video provide you the basic training we learned in day 2 webinar. So let's get started. Firstly click on main menu and then click on purchase and then purchase voucher option. First we will look at the manual way of entering purchase bill. Enter the supplier name and other details such as bill number and bill date. Now enter the item either by using barcode or by item name. Choose lot from the search list or create a new one and enter other required details such as quantity, rates and discounts. Next pack sizes of the same item are being entered automatically with same details. You just have to press enter key. You can also change the details if needed. This makes the process faster. All sizes of the item have been entered quickly. This option can also be disabled in the purchase voucher configuration. Simply untick the option. Let us enter another item the rate of which is more than 1000 rupees. As you can see, 12% GST is being applied in this case. And 5% was applied in case the rate was less than 1000 rupees. This slab can be changed if needed. Purchase rate is automatically calculated by the software by using purchase rate formula. You can customize the purchase rate formula as per your needs. Click on view totals to see the gross amount, discount in rupees, amount of tax and net amount. Press F2 to see the account entry of the bill. A prompt of go down selection appears at the end. Select the appropriate go down in which you want to save the stock of the entered items. Purchase voucher can also be entered through Excel sheet. Browse the Excel sheet from your system and click on refresh. All the items in the Excel sheet will appear. Invalid items if any, will appear here. Since there are no invalid items, we will move forward to save this voucher. Enter the supplier name and go down name.
and click on Save Bill. Purchase voucher has been saved. Let us check this in the Purchase Voucher window. Click on Modify and search the purchase bill. The purchase voucher has been entered. The process of entering a purchase return is quite similar to that of purchase voucher. Simply enter the supplier name and other details. Now enter the item either by using barcode or by item name. The rates will be automatically picked. Carry forward pack size option is available in purchase return as well. You can enable or disable it in the configuration. The stock transfer go down wise option enables you to transfer the stock from one go down to another. Select go down from and go down to. There are multiple ways to enter items. The Purchase Register Summary Report displays the purchase bills in a condensed manner. Click on Purchase Register Detail to see the purchase vouchers in an elaborated way with item name, lot number, discount details etc. Double-click on the bill number to zoom down to that voucher. You can make changes to the voucher and save it. Purchase Register Size Wise Report shows the purchase of different sizes of apparel items along with supplier name, bill number and bill date. Margin report is used to check the amount and percentage of margin at which we have purchased the items from our suppliers. As you can see, rate, net amount, purchase amount and MRP amount of each item has been shown here.
Let us see how can we check stock in Logic ERP. The Stock Query tab has many reports. Category-wise stock report displays the current stock of each category of apparel items. Similarly, this report shows style-wise stock under each category, along with its value. Double-click on the style name to zoom down to its ledger. Stock query size wise report exhibits the current stock of each item plus style along with different sizes. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe.